Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am here today for a Miitopia video. This is actually going to be a lot of fun, uh, very different from the content that I normally do, but the demo just actually dropped today, and I could not resist after seeing so many cool creations uh, from people. There's like a lot of anime, uh, I guess, like styles that you can do, and I was like, yo, you know what? I saw like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I was like, you know what? We should try to make Goku. Is it even possible? Like, Goku and Dragon Ball characters, those are a lot more difficult to create um you know in these games with their customization features and stuff especially when it comes to nintendo stuff because it's very limited like you guys have seen in smash like i think we could make a bootleg walmart version of it it's just, just going to be for fun to see how it turns out so uh, i'm actually really excited to get into this video finally doing another uh cac creation video so if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like for me uh it shows your support and is truly appreciated and uh it's just something that's different here I want to change things up, so uh, let's go ahead and jump into the customization mode. Alright guys, so we are in the customization mode, so what you can do is you can choose an already existing me, or if you want to, you could create from scratch. So, this is exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to create this guy from scratch. There might be some points where I do uh, kind of fast forward, because I don't want it to be... Uh, you know, too long and boring of a video, but um, basically I'm just going to kind of go through here and look for some facial features and things that I feel like would work. So we'll get into the actual like, you know, edits and customization here right after I'm done with this part. Alright guys, so this is kind of just the basis of it. Uh, you have more customization features when we actually get into uh, the Miitopia mode stuff, but this is just my basis for the Goku. I think I'm going to roll with an Ultra Instinct Sign slash Omen just because I feel like that's the coolest looking form or like the most popular form. Now. So the makeup is where you can get really, really cool and crazy. So with the eyes, you can actually apply like glows and like, you know, just like more customization and things that look more realistic to uh, what you could, you know, do for a character's, uh, you know, anime facial features and just like little like things and, you know, pieces there. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is actually add sort of a shine to it so i don't know how many uh things that you can add on in terms of the customization but i think that little glow right there that little white uh you know thing i think that's pretty good uh, i don't know how much more stuff can you apply on top of it okay so you have this right here which is kind of like that's kind of cool looking i, I like that <laughs> oh you could do like renegon bro oh my goodness you you have a lot of customization features here this is actually um this is really a little bit overwhelming yeah yeah you could you could do like a Naruto kind of like style or whatever. What is other here? Uh, oh, okay. This is this is like some other crap. <laughs> if you want to, you can kind of edit the me eyes or whatever. You can actually put that on top. So that'll be the basis. And then we'll have like, you know, the makeup here like that. And let me actually edit the makeup so that... Could I add like another one here? If I could move it? Yes, you can. You can actually move it pretty much anywhere you want. And that's actually pretty wacky or whatever. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, what is this? Uh, use that for finer adjustments. Oh, that's actually pretty fancy. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Eyelashes. Oh, yeah, you could really, dude, you could really do some, like, JoJo character shit, bro. Oh, my God. I want to see. Um. Okay, so this right here. Whoa. It's like a... Oh, you could make like a, one of the Hashira or something like that from Demon Slayer. That's, that's pretty sick, dude. Yeah, there's there's so much customization with it. There's a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm kind of just looking at a picture of Goku right now. Maybe I want to get some like battle damage or something. I think that would be pretty cool. But uh, this right here, I think I'm going to add this. I'm going to go ahead and edit the makeup. And we're going to move it more closer down and right here like that i think that's pretty good i'm going to adjust the size so i think and then we're going to move it down hey that's perfect yo that is that is actually perfect right there so i kind of wanted to get you know how like goku's eyes you know they're not 
I mean, when he's in Ultra Instinct, there's more. It's more closed off and everything. So eyeshadow. We got eyelashes. Um, eyeshadow. I don't know. I, I'm trying to look for maybe a bit of battle damage or something like that we can have because I, I do want some like lines on his face. You can kind of do uh, like a not battle damage, but you, not there may be some battle damage. But I also do want the um, things under his eyes, which is always important that you know Dragon Ball characters have. They have like almost a little. Uh, you know, it's like defining like cheek definition. Is that the, is that the, the professional term for it? I don't know <laughs> Okay, so I think that's I'm pretty happy with how that looks for now I think we'll just kind of roll with that, but yeah, there's, there's just, it's a little bit overwhelming with um, The customization that you can do it's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. All right blushes um, Could I add maybe yeah, maybe that's some good battle damage there Okay, I think I'll just keep that for now and see how I like that. I mean, I might change it after. I might delete it. But um, you know how, like, you know, Ultra Instinct, he's got a little bit of battle damage on him. And, you know, it's always... Dragon Ball characters always got, like, some type of battle damage. So I was like, okay, let's try that. Okay, eyebrows. Now, this is where I wanted some pretty good eyebrows. So I'm kind of looking at a picture of Goku's eyebrows. And I think something maybe. All right, guys, um, that took actually a very long time. I wanted to add a couple of different eyebrows on top of each other, kind of overlap it to make it look more edged out, like Goku's, you know, eyebrows and stuff. So I kind of like how that turned out. I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna roll with that for now. Now, you have other here. So you can add a mask. I don't know. What the? Oh, look at this. No, COVID masks, bro. Let's go. Okay, so you can have scars. Oh, you could do, you can make Bardock. Holy crap. I definitely got to make a Bardock sometime. Um, oh, okay, so this is actually, this will actually be good for some extra battle damage, which we can definitely do. Um, maybe have that kind of like up here. So I'm going to kind of mess around with this a little bit more and kind of get it. Uh, I'm going to add a lot of these in order to make it look more like battle damage and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so after like another, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, I've been editing this for like almost over, I think over an hour now, <laughs> um, I got the look that I was looking for, so um, I'm trying to get like every single detail on Goku's face, I mean as close as I possibly can, it's a little bit hard, but I'm gonna keep messing around with it in terms of skin tone and everything too, and uh, I'm gonna see how accurate I can get, this is pretty cool, I'm having a lot of fun with this so far. All right, guys, I am complete with facial features and just, you know, a lot of lines and creases and things that I feel like make Dragon Ball characters look like Dragon Ball characters. This is looking much better than what we started out with. Um, obviously, it's not perfect and it's not exact. And there are probably things that I could do better, but, uh, you know, I could sit here probably for over an hour, uh, another two, three hours and edit this. And I might actually do that later on, but I think everything looks good. Um, you can apparently change the, uh, I guess, skin tone and stuff too. So I'll just kind of like see the different types of skin tones. Uh, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku isn't really that dark in terms of his skin tone. Uh, you know, you can kind of get you can get a little bit crazy. But if you go to the details here, you can actually change saturation, you know, and all that stuff. You get the brightness up and things. Eye color is good. I don't need to mess with that too much. 
Okay, guys, I'm pretty content with the face. Uh, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> that took a long time, man. That took a long time. Uh, let's save that. Okay, that looks like Goku. That actually looks like Ultra Instinct Goku. All right, now let's do the wig now. I don't know. Goku, damn, bro. You kind of look hot, bro. Goku, I think, has three to four really, really big-ass long bangs. So I'll just kind of go through all of these and see. That one's pretty good right there. Also, actually, this one might be pretty good, too. I think this one actually looks the closest, in my opinion. But I'm just going to kind of look through. Oh, shoot. <laughs> look at this hair, bro. You, you could definitely make Kakyoin uh, from JoJo's. Oh, my God. I Wow. The customization is insane on this. Okay, so I think I'll roll with that. Now, the back. Uh, oh, this actually... That's getting there. Um, can I invert it? It's kind of good. That's that's pretty decent. Uh, let me see what else they got. Oh, this one! That looks more like Ultra Instinct. Now, if I compare these two, I just don't like that one thing in the back. Uh, let me see, actually see this one here. If I invert it, similar to the one that I, I just did with the hair. But yeah, yeah, that's like the same exact thing. It's just, I think it's slightly spikier or something like that. This one's really good because the bangs are bigger. Or not the bangs, but like the edges the edge of the hair is like much much larger oh this one would be perfect dude this is like super saiyan 3 this one would be perfect if you could make it shorter he kind of he just kind of looks like corinne <laughs> he kind of looks like corinne right now um i think i'll roll with this one and invert it uh you could do a cowlick what the hell is this oh okay that just adds some more stuff if i invert it maybe like that that'll give it some more some extra like stuff to it i don't know I'm, I'm just trying to add as much spike up on the hair as i possibly can if i invert that i mean we don't really need to have that maybe yeah maybe i'll add like just one extra one just for the extra of it uh the color here can i do black okay cool so we'll do, we're gonna do omen ultra instant because i feel like it looks the coolest um and it does have a bit of a slight you know edge glow kind of thing going on there so that looks, honestly, that looks really badass. I'm not gonna lie. I really, really like how this thing. I'm kind of just looking at a picture of it. That looks like Goku. It looks pretty close. I mean, that's as close as I'm going to get. The settings always wear a wig. Okay. So I'm gonna say that. Yo, we got Ultra Instinct Goku, dude. Oh my god. Let's, let's see the comparison. So I went from that, okay? I don't know if you can see that right there. To this extreme makeover and I have to say I did I think I did a pretty damn good job I mean that's like like I said it's it's as close as you're gonna get to making a, a sort of Goku design or whatever but this video took me over like two hours to make I think so y'all gotta drop a like for me if you think this looks pretty good if you don't and you think you can make a better one definitely let me know I would like to see your version of it but just Goku said it there dude all right so there you go that's how to make I guess Ultra Instinct Goku, or the closest thing that I can make to Goku. I would want to do, like, Super Saiyan Blue and stuff, but uh, that's going to not really work. But um, I'll also show you guys, I guess, a mastered Ultra Instinct version of it, where I just changed the hair color. So let's skip over to that. All right, guys, so here is my bootleg mastered Ultra Instinct or perfected Ultra Instinct transformation for Goku. So we had the Omen form and the uh, Master form, just for fun, just to throw it in there. But... Um, yeah, that's my, that's my uh, little Goku that you got going on there. So um, thanks again for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and let me know if there's another character you want me to make. Maybe I'll do like Broly or um, I guess Bardock next because they have like a scar. Uh, Vegeta might be kind of hard because there's no really, really spiky hair for that. But I don't know. I'll probably look through and try to, you know, mess around with it. So thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly and you are watching slow plays make sure to subscribe or else i'll destroy your entire planet <laughs>